Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazale, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the 5th of December 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so looking at these stats, then you have the uh, Asian market subdued overnight, Shanghai, Nikkei, Hang Seng all down, Hang Seng down the most, down 1%. Uh, US market certainly sharply reversing from the highs, uh, again, certainly is a negative sign. So we have the Flynn investigation, certainly obviously expanding and therefore... Obviously, Mr. Kushner and uh, Trump's family, they're all crooks, aren't they, really? Uh, really, basically, the uh, it's like a family, uh, basically, business, isn't it, America, right now? It's uh, it's a total joke. It's almost a laughing stock. But either way, um, the extremists, the racists, the bigots, uh, uh, what can we say, the sexists, they wanted Mr. Trump in power. Um, what can I say? I mean, you have to be an idiot, idiot to vote for Trump, but that's the case. Somebody who's bankrupted, I mean, how many companies is he bankrupted? So I think he's on the verge of bankrupt in America as well. Okay, any either way, uh, the stock market certainly likes it, given the fact, obviously, it's all about tax, tax, tax. Uh, on that note, bear with me one second. I've got a short trade open. I just need to make some profit on this. So one second, let me just quickly close it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, going back to the uh, European uh, market here, just so uh, certainly close that short position. Okay. Uh, in terms of euro stocks, uh, again, let's just quickly bring that up. Here we go. Euro stocks certainly plunging here, certainly close a short position now. Uh, again, there is a possibility that we can go down to gap fill, but not just yet, given the fact that European economic data certainly came in slightly on the stronger side. Okay, so looking at today's data then. So the economic data today, Chinese data out overnight came in stronger than expected. Okay, cakes and services coming at 51.9. Uh, the uh, Australian retail sales number certainly came in stronger than expected as well, although the RB8 rate decision certainly did uh, obviously uh, leaves uh, them open to uh, interpretation of currency, currency traders. Uh, German, Spanish industrial output certainly came in slightly better than expected, although the market services PMI came in weaker. French and Italian PMI came in stronger. <clears throat> German PMI came in slightly weaker. Uh, European PMI, uh, market services PMI came in on the uh, uh, on par. Uh, as expected, UK PMI data came in weaker. Uh, EU finance meeting, again, that certainly is ongoing. Uh, the trade talks with regards to Britain are certainly ongoing as well. Uh, European retail sales numbers came in slightly weaker than expected, certainly hurting the actual uh, European equities. Again, US equities certainly under pressure yesterday, which in turn exerted pressure on the uh, on European equities this morning. Uh, FTSE 100 certainly under pressure as well, certainly keep an eye out there. In terms of uh, the rest of the day, we have U.S. trade balance, uh, Canadian import exports as well, Red Book Index, uh, GDT, Global Dairy Trade Auction. That certainly is out uh, later on. Again, watch out for the Kiwi there. Uh, and uh, market PMI and ISM data again from the U.S. And we'll see how the market reacts to the uh, tax reform progress and also the situation ongoing as well with regards to Mr. Flynn uh, in his investigation. So again, certainly see how the markets react there. Okay, so... Looking at the technical picture now for the German DAX, let's look at the German DAX here. Again, all eyes on the potential H&S formation top. Uh, again, that certainly remains in, 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 in play. Okay, so uh, just finishing off this video now in terms of US markets, just reiterating that US markets certainly came under pressure yesterday, as you can see. S&P 500 gapped up to 2665 before it reversed and closed the gap back down at 2640. Currently trading after our outside market at the moment, currently as low as 2633, I think it went overnight. Uh, the pivot low, obviously, from uh, last week's sell-off, given the Flynn news, certainly is that pivot low at 2605, so it's an immense sell-off. You still have the unfilled gap left below, though, bear that in mind, at 2602. I'm surprised it didn't close that gap, but that certainly is the case. So the gap higher from 2640 to 2665. I mean, it's been very volatile trading on the S&P at 500 at present. Okay, so that's the status quo there. In terms of uh, European uh, equities, let's go to the German DAX. You can see we have a bear flat. Well, should we say a HNS formation on the daily chart? So keep an eye on that. 60 minute chart, we've certainly gapped higher, rejected thus far. Uh, and that pivot high there, you can see at uh, 13,125, the market certainly has reversed. Either way, we're still making a base at around the 12,850 zone for the German DAX. So watch out there as well. Uh, 10 minute chart, let's go to the 10 minute chart. You're certainly finding support at the pivot low. Uh, from uh, yes, from the uh, Monday uh, yesterday, okay, around 12.970. You have the unfilled gap below at 12.860. So let's see if we can hold that and we refrain from closing that gap. That'll be the uh, the situation to watch out for. In terms of the French CAC, then let's move over to the French CAC now. 
Daily chart, French CAC at the moment, still holding that FIB 61%. Uh, lower high, 60-minute chart, and the, and the actual French CAC broken lower. Okay, so again, you have gap filled below. Horizontal support seen at 5,300, okay? 10-minute chart <clears throat> of the uh, uh, French CAC. Let's just quickly move here and see exactly where we stand. So French CAC here are holding that pivot low from yesterday. You still have the unfilled gap below at 5,320. Let's see if we can target that held gap fill today. Interesting to, interesting enough. Okay, so again, failed to hit retest at high at 5,400, then obviously sold off. We certainly have support in this region, so watch out for potential support on the French CAC. In terms of the FTSE 100 then, again, we close that gap finally at 7,340. You have to gapping higher and back with stronger Chinese data. Uh, USD certainly, or should we say US, uh, GBP certainly finding support, given the fact that there Miss uh, May is certainly meeting again. So again, you are looking at potential support on the FTSE 100 here, looking to potentially gap higher. Okay, uh, up to, we had a gap higher of 7375 this morning, very impressively on the FTSE 100. Okay, certainly retra retracing here now, looking to potentially bounce back again as well. So gap fill support is at 7340, then you have support at 7325. Uh, we do have an unfilled gap at 7.2 or 7.300, so watch out there as well. Okay, so that's the status quo uh, in terms of the FTSE 100. 60-minute jar uh, at the moment, still have a bull flag, so watch out there. Obviously, previous resistance equals support, or previous support equals resistance for now. But ultimately, you are looking to potentially reverse and test that 7.460 zone. Looking for a bull flag on the FTSE 100, certainly to play out here. And looking to uh, actually move higher as oil prices move higher potentially as well. So keep an eye out there. Okay, so that's basically where we stand in terms of the FTSE 100. Okay, so looking for a bull flag. Okay, for now, looking to test that 7420 level or 7410 level on the FTSE 100. Okay, so I think that's a good summation of European equities, although it was broken. I do apologize. Uh, again, concerns over uh, you've got we Asia markets weaker, US markets certainly rejecting the highs. You have um, stronger overall, stronger European data. It'll be interesting to see how US markets now react. So looking for a potential pounce and move higher. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.